Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm really excited to bring you a piano tutorial for an original song of mine that I just uploaded called Believe. Um, before you continue this video, I'd like you to follow this link right here. Oh, there's the finger, there we go. Right here. So just click that right there, and I'll take you to the song and have a listen to it. Um, see if you like it, and if you do, come back and I will teach you how to play it. The song is inspired by Roger Federer, uh, a really famous tennis player. And so uh, this song was a work in progress for over two months. And um, I'm just really proud of it. So I hope you enjoy it and that you're staying to watch this video. Anyway, let's get into it. So the key of this song is in B flat major. Now, what is B flat major? Well, B flat major contains two flats, or we play two different black keys in B flat major. So B flat major is SO. So you can see when I'm playing the B flat major scale, I'm playing the B flat here and the E flat there. All right? So the way that the song starts, is that it's a low octave in B flat. So let me just turn you slightly and I go like this. And then there is a slight bassoon that goes like this. Like that. So it's very cinematic, right? You can even bring it down an octave lower to the very bottom of the piano like this. So I was going for a really cinematic, um, epic kind of opening there. And if you watch the video, you'll see that, you know, you have the title there and Fetter's face there. Oh, I love it. Anyway, uh, and then we get into the song itself. So it starts like this. Quite standard B flat major. So it's B flat, F, and then B flat and D here. So it's exactly just a B flat major chord, see? just splitting it up here. Okay. Then what I do is I'll go through the chords first. So here it's same thing. So B flat major, these four notes, and then my thumb in the left hand goes to the A. So now it brings a sense of descent because first your, your ear is hearing this. Here's, see what I mean? And then it goes down to here. So basically I'm just going down here. And the progression continues, it goes. And it's back to B flat. So it's a very classical kind of descending progression. Um, so let's do it again. You notice my here in the third chord, my I play E flat in the right hand because now I'm playing the E flat major chord but in its second inversion. So that means it's an E flat major chord but B flat is on the bottom. So. So for all four of those chords, the B flat was on the bottom, okay? Because it's a common tone. It's common between the B flat major chord and the E flat major chord because both the B flat chord and the E flat chord have B flat in it, see? So if I just bring the B flat to the bottom, now I have a common tone between both. So there we go. Okay, and then we go, here I'll move you over. An icon is born to change and do something new. So what this is, is after we go back to the B flat major chord, then we do a full or a root position E flat major chord. So I'm doing E flat major, E flat octave in the uh, in the left hand here, and a G minor chord in the right hand. And then this. So first inversion, B flat, and then 
So C octave here, and then E flat major with a C there. And then suspension in the B flat, and then down to A. So now we have the five chord or the F major. And then again. Over 35 years ago was the birth of a legend we all know. So there it's. Now I'm doing it in um, quarter notes here instead of half notes. So there's a two chord, so C minor, E flat on top. Chord and then B flat major chord. Okay? And then for the pre chorus, C minor, C minor uh, 7 actually. So it's basically C octave and then E flat major on the top. Okay? And then B flat major first inversion, E flat major root, trapped in some love. suspension down to A and at descend. So here, just left hand is going, because it's on the F before, right? So it's E flat, D, C. And now, before I went to E flat, but here to make it sound a little more epic, now I go to E natural. Okay, so it's E, and then C major, or C dominant seventh. So it's C dominant seventh first inversion, essentially. Okay. So you can see I use this suspension a lot. B flat to A. And that's the pre-chorus. Okay. So let's go over the melody now. In case you're wondering. The melody is this. Oh actually I'll do it an octave down. So D, E flat F, okay, and then so I'm using all the notes in the B flat major scale here basically, and then now with the chords here. whatever I do, my melody notes, or the notes I'm singing, stay in the very top. So either my pinky or my fourth finger um, are playing those notes. And if I'm, if I'm playing the chord in the right hand, those notes come below, right? So... See, my thumb and my second finger, or index finger, are doing the chords, while the fourth finger or the pinky are playing the melody notes, okay? And then... It's a big leap, so we're going from B flat up to C. B flat to C, okay? You know what, first let's go over the chords. So B flat major, and then E flat, and then back to B 
flat, and then F, B flat again. So it's believe, believe in this, believe in this man. Believe, believe that he, believe that he can. So it basically just repeats. The second time though, it doesn't go back to F, okay? So the second time it's believe that he can, the two B flats. And then we go down to C minor. That he would rise above and then B flat first inversion. Show all his fans below. And then we have E flat. Starts B flat first inversion from C minor seven. One F who believes. Okay? So let me do that one more time. Just the second half of the chorus here. And that's that's that. Okay, now the melody is like this. So it's a very heroic kind of stretch here. Notice the higher part here is all within a fifth, so your hand fits pretty comfortably here. The only stretch you would have to do is from B flat all the way up to C there. See? Okay. Then we go. So B flat C C C D E flat D D D E flat F B flat G F D C B flat. Okay. So it's actually not too complicated. The complicated part is more so in the bridge, which I'll show you right now. So the second verse and the second chorus are essentially the same, okay? Bridge starts, okay, so the end of the second chorus is like this. Starts from one who believes. So it's E flat, but now I go, so B flat on the bottom and F, and then A flat on top because I'm gonna set up my E flat major chord that begins the bridge. So it's like this. Please. And now it's E flat, so I'll move us down a little. E flat major, then E flat minor. E flat major, G7. So that's G major with F on top. C minor, F7. So it's a unified structure, see? I started from, the end of the chord started from B flat, and the end of the first half of the bridge is also B flat. So, so far, we're staying in B flat, right? So I'll show you one more time. Uh, so E flat, now set up. E flat, minor, B flat, G7, C minor, F7, B flat. Now, now is where we start to modulate or change key. So I'm gonna go to C in the C octave in the left hand and then do B flat major second inversion in the right. So I was here. And then so first I do B flat major second inversion and then go to C, C dominant seventh, um, second inversion. And then F major, then F minor, C major, so C major, E minor, second inversion with B on the bottom, and then A7, D minor, and then G and F, A, C, F, G. So this is F major in the top with G in the very top in the right hand, and then G and F in the left hand. Four times, and then G dominant seventh. So 
basically I'm just here, I'm going to there afterwards. And that's the modulation sequence. So it changes in the second half of the bridge. Melody-wise, it goes like this. Sorry, I know the E flat's out of tune, uh, bugs me too. But it goes like this, E flat, F, D, C, D, became his newest crown. And then B flat, B flat C, B flat C, F, D, okay? So I'll just play the whole thing um, with the melody. C major. C B A in the right hand. F major. C B A G and then it's C major. G. So basically G D F A C F G. already seen the performance of this or the song um, so thank you so much I, I I realize this is the longest video I've made in a while actually but it's something I've been really excited excited to show you if you enjoy the song and like would like a copy for yourself you can find it on iTunes the link is uh, on the lyric video um, and uh, it's in the description so I would love your support thank you so much for being subscribed and watching my videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we have a really cool video because I'm really excited to give you a, sorry, a piano.